Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to check in with our family's budget for December. So we're gonna be looking at the beginning of the month through the 9th of the month, which is the day that I am filming this. Our bills have been kind of weird. <laughs> to say the least. Um, this is our first full month in our new house and due dates and things like that are just kind of like wonky right now. So we didn't have a mortgage payment due this month. Um, our first mortgage payment will be due January 1st. And then I, we haven't gotten a water or trash bill at all yet. Um, iCloud storage hasn't come out, which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna need to look into that. And then Southwest Gas is another one that I'm not sure when that bill will be here or what to expect for that. So bills are a little bit messed up at the moment. Um, those were the only bills that we've had like due uh, or due up until this point. I um, feel like that was not a proper quotation. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess the due dates are to be determined on some of these things. We haven't had a whole lot going on as far as like debit transactions are concerned. There's really nothing for the whole month so far um, up until yesterday when my husband filled up one of our cars with gas and then we purchased Maddie's birthday present. I don't know if she's like right outside my door or something, but we got her a B-I-K-E from Target and that was in other, it, that's in the other category. So I added a category to my key here of other because we did budget for her birthday um, right here, $200. The other thing that I failed to put in her stockings, but I need to, I need to find that receipt because I purchased other things at Target as well. And yeah, so I'll need to put in the stockings because I, I did go and get the girls their stuff for their stockings, but I don't know how much I spent. So that will be in next week's check-in, I guess, because I need to find the receipt for it and figure all that out. But anyways, so that's pretty much all that has happened. And then we will look at our cash envelopes as well. So I know, I believe that Sarah Marie um, from Sarah Marie Stickers and Sarah Marie on YouTube, she's gonna be releasing her February stickers on Sunday the 13th. So I know I will end up getting some stickers then. I have all of my designs picked out for February um, for my February digital kits, digital stickers, and all that good stuff. Um, I just posted a video sharing my January new releases yesterday. So if you haven't checked that out yet, definitely do that. Um, everything you see here in front of in front of me is available in my shop the budget planner budget stickers all that good stuff so definitely check that out if you're interested but um, I just need to purchase all of my February designs and then I can start working on those and everything and then the other thing I need to do is I want to start working on new planner designs for you guys because that has been a high demand item and I'm going to be working feverishly to get those available as soon as I possibly can for you guys now that the January new releases are are done and we're good to go there. So, um, so yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and track some things here. So for the gas, we will track that. And then I think I will go ahead and put Maddie's birthday in here, just so that we know how much we have left. And then I'm gonna put stockings in here as well, even though I, well, maybe I won't put stockings in here because that'll be something I'll have to track next week. And then designs and stickers. Or actually, you know what? I am gonna put stockings because then I can just copy and paste. Sorry guys stockings and uh, designs and stickers and unbudgeted. In 2021, I will be completely separating my business expenses from my family expenses because it's gotten a little bit confusing. So just a heads up there, but we'll continue with what we've been doing up until this point. So yeah, for gas, that was $35.50. 
$135.50. And as of last week, or I'm sorry, <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like, oh, my brain is tired today. Um, $150 is what we had budgeted for gas. Hello, there we go. So I'm gonna take my calculator and 150 minus 3550. <laughs> my sales are coming through. Thank you so much, you guys, by the way, for those of you who have purchased your items from my shop. Um, you guys are amazing. So we have 11450 remaining in gas, which is great. And then for birthday, for Maddie's birthday, that was 9980. And then we're also going to use her birthday um, like fund, I guess you could say, or that category for dinner and a movie and then cake and things like that. So um, 9980. And we budgeted 200 for her birthday. So 200 minus 99.80 is hundred dollars and 20 cents. And then stockings, I'm just gonna keep there. That was $60 remaining. Designs and stickers. I haven't purchased anything. I believe I budgeted 150. And then we haven't had any unbudgeted items. So that takes care of that. Okay. And as far as weekly budget meetings are concerned, we actually didn't end up having a budget meeting. Um, last Wednesday because it was like right at the beginning of the month. It was kind of weird to do it right then and there, but we did have a really, really thorough budget meeting yesterday. So not today as we had planned. I have my little calculator where we had planned on doing our budget meetings, but we had a really great meeting yesterday just to check in with all of our accounts, to check in with our annual budget, come up, the, come up with our annual budget. I did just filmed that earlier today, so that will be up next week for you guys. Um, so I'm excited about that. I've been really like nerding out over the annual budget lately. Like, I don't know, I just love like playing with the numbers and figuring out like where our money is going and just things like that. I just find it to be really fun. Please tell me I'm not the only one, but yeah, so that takes care of all of that. Now, one big change that is also going to be happening in the new year is we're not using cash anymore. And that's really just because our roles have sort of changed in our family a little bit. So my husband's not gonna be working anymore, which means he's gonna be doing the shopping instead of me. And he has been finding it just kind of difficult, like staying on top of the cash, like he would rather do debit and track it like that way, give me the receipts, all that good stuff. So that is what we're going to do moving forward. But for the rest of December, we will be using our cash. So I might be de-stashing these envelopes because I don't foresee us needing them. I'm, I mean, I've debated holding on to them, but a lot of you guys have really liked these envelopes. So stay tuned for that. I, I might just end up de-stashing these because yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know that we're going to go back to cash. Although we flip flopped a lot. Um, I think we've just kind of decided that it's, it's too inconvenient to be honest. Like I think having two kids and being as busy as I am and things like that. Um, my husband doesn't like dealing with cash and he's the one again doing most of the shopping. So I feel like if it's easier for him to just use debit, then that's what we should do, you know? So for grocery, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 220. So that means in the past 10 days or so, or nine days, we've spent $180 because we had $400 to start. So we're still, I think, in good shape there because we actually have quite a bit of food on hand still. So I think we'll be good to go for household. We have spent all of our household money. That is all gone. I did get some new face products from a company called BU. And this is the other thing about cash is like, that was an online purchase. It's not sold in stores. 
Um, so I've been looking for a new like face routine and things like that and I can definitely share more about that with you guys. I had been using Clinique for like the longest time but I've just noticed that it's been really drying my skin out and I don't know if it's because of like the colder weather or what or if my like skin is just changing. I have no idea but it's been really drying my skin out and so um, I follow Cullen and Katie here on YouTube and Katie had posted on her Instagram about the BU products and I love Katie's taste and everything and I totally trust her judgment. Um, I just think she's, she's just awesome. Um, I followed her like for years and years and um, yeah, so she gave a positive review of it. I looked up reviews online and I'm gonna give it a try. So I purchased that for myself to get into like a really good, you know, just kind of face cleansing routine if you will and then we had to get some new cleaners and stuff for the house um i have noticed with a two-story and this might be like a little bit excessive but we were in a one-story before and going up and down the stairs to get cleaners and stuff has just been kind of obnoxious to be honest so <laughs> i have a cleaning caddy for downstairs and now i have one for upstairs as well my husband thought i was being ridiculous but i'm like babe I don't want to have to lug these things up and down the stairs all the time. Like, I don't know. Does anyone else do that? Do you have like a cleaning kit for like upstairs and a cleaning kit for downstairs? Because we do now. <laughs> but anyways, so there's that. And then eating out and entertainment. Entertainment's all gone. We used that for my husband's birthday. We got Cheesecake Factory. And then um, I think some of our eating out money went to that as well. So we really don't have much left there. We have 20 bucks. Um, which that's good for like a cheap meal out real quick, maybe Filiberto's or something. Um, but we do have money budgeted to eat out for Maddie and like her little birthday budget. So that's what our cash is looking like. And that you guys is our budget check-in for the first week of December. So stay tuned for next week. Tons and tons of changes are coming to our budget. I am super excited about them. Like I said, my husband and I had a very thorough meeting about everything last night. I am super proud of us because I feel like we've never been that thorough before. I feel like like I've always just kind of been in charge of the budget, so I would just end up like doing what I thought was best and he would just kind of agree. And this time like I really made sure that he had his like input and his say in things and things like that because Again, like our roles are sort of changing a little bit in the family. Um, I used to be in charge of a lot of like the shopping and stuff. Like I would do grocery pickup and things like that and place the grocery orders and that sort of thing. And that's going to be changing. So, um, so yeah, we, we went through, we decided what all of our sinking funds are going to be for 2021. I'm really excited about those because I feel like they're just great. I got some really good ideas from other YouTubers on here that have budgeting channels. Uh, and then, yeah, we just decided what our annual budget will be. And I am just, I'm just very excited about it. So I filmed those videos today. Those will be up next week. So stay tuned for that. And other than that, if you have questions, comments, of course, let me know down below and I will chat with y'all later. Bye. Bye.